Hello and welcome to Pro Football Weekly. I'm Adam Anschell, joined by senior editor Mike Wilkening. Here to look at a couple of AFC South teams that matched up, both of them clinging to playoff hopes, the Titans and Texans. Only one team really showed up, though. Yeah, very surprising. Yeah. The Titans just didn't play their best uh, game today. Were they up against it with Rusty Smith in the lineup? You could argue that, but offensively, nothing was working for them. And defensively, they had no answers for Aaron Foster. If Aaron Foster isn't in the Pro Bowl after this game, they shouldn't have the game. 218 total yards. For the Titans, have lost four straight games, clearly going in the wrong direction at exactly the wrong time of year. Now, these two teams also, you knew it would be a fight, but it turned into one literally. Cortland Finnegan and Andre Johnson. What could be the ramifications of that? Well, Cortland Finnegan and Andre Johnson, these are guys with a bit of a history in terms of getting after it. And now, a big fight here in the fourth quarter of this game on Sunday. Andre Johnson and Adam would seem to be at more risk to me of having me be even more disciplined handed down. He threw punches. Clearly not a good thing for the Texans. They play at Philadelphia Thursday night, so expect discipline decision pretty quickly on this one. And again, also a guy that's been a bit involved in things like this before. Now, the Titans, they've been kind of the model franchise recently. Totally stable for years now. Jeff Fisher, the longest tenured coach. Right now, they get Randy Moss. You thought it would be a Super Bowl contender. But they look like they're in total disarray. Right. I mean, you know, even if you don't think the Vince Young, Jeff Fisher sort of discussion that went on last week that where, you know, Vince Young walked out on the team, if you didn't think that was a distraction, it, it certainly couldn't have helped this team. The only saving grace, I think, for Tennessee right now is that you've got three straight games against division foes. At five and six, you've got a chance to turn it around. They've clearly got to find their best form and quickly. No more losses, I think, to really have a shot in AFC playoff. Yeah, they need to get better in a hurry if they're going to make a run. Now, on the other side, the Texans, it seems like perennially a 500 team. Can't quite get over that hump. Here they are again around the same spot. Can they make a run at the playoffs, and do they need to to save Gary Kubiak's job? I think they're capable of doing that on their best. The question is what Texans team is going to show up week in, week out. We just don't always know. The game they played today defensively was very, very good. They have finished strongly before. They did it last year. They're going to have to put in that sort of finishing kick, I think, to have a chance. But you wonder if they've left themselves with too much work to do. And if they fall short, I think you've seized upon the right issue here. What happens with Gary Kubiak being the season? Well, it should be an interesting AFC South race the rest of the way. Well, for all your best game day information, keep checking back here at ProFootballWeekly.com.